Hey, what's up guys? I've got a quick and important video for you here today. Especially if you were born in the States, Canada, wherever, and you have a parent from Mexico. The reason I'm making this video is because yesterday I talked to um, a lady who was born and raised in California and uh, her parents are Mexican, right? And they were born in Mexico, raised, blah, 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 and then they came over to the States and started a new life there. And uh, some of you may be in a very similar position and you're coming back to Mexico to, for whatever reason, maybe some of the same reasons that I came out, right? But you may be confused about what your status is and uh, you might be in these Facebook groups and getting the wrong kind of information. So you might be thinking, oh, I have to apply for residency and all this stuff and just screw all that, forget all of that. Let me make it very, very clear. If one or both of your parents was a Mexican citizen when you were born, even if you were born outside of Mexico, by like according to la ley de la nacionalidad de Mexico, you are a Mexican citizen. You are entitled to a passport. You do not have to deal with any of the stuff that extranjeros and foreigners have to deal with over here, like getting a visa or getting uh, temporary residency, permanent residency, or, or qualifying for um, for that stuff, like having a certain amount of income every month or whatever. You don't have to worry about any of that. Now, I got my Mexican passport uh, in 2019 before a bunch of stuff started happening, right? So the procedures might have changed a bit, and I did this in Canada. Then I didn't do it here in Mexico. So it, it depends on where you are and uh, it depends on how badly you want to get this done. But for some of you, it is pretty important, right? Because I can't imagine, um, like if you came down here to Mexico on your American passport, your Canadian or whatever, um, you don't want to have to deal with the stuff that foreigners have to do. You don't want to have to spend half your day in a line only to, be, only to get to the desk and be told by this lady that, hey, you're missing a paper. Oh, you have to get this photocopied or anything. <laughs> Back of the line again, right? No, 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 you don't want to do that. Right? So, for me, when I got my, off the top of my head, this is what I needed. And you, you probably need the same stuff. You're, you're going to need valid passports from both your parents, or, um, yeah, valid passports from both your parents. Um, some kind of proof that either one or both of your parents are Mexican citizens. So that could be their birth certificate, that could be their Mexican passport, that could be their cedula um, profesional. And what else? What else? You're going to need your uh, passport, probably your driver's license, probably your your birth certificate in the country that you were born in, and mm, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Maybe if uh, one or both of your parents became naturalized citizens of wherever you grew up, you probably might need to include that, but uh, you can get, well, hopefully, the people that you speak to are going to be as helpful with you as they were with me, but you can get the information that you need from the Mexican consulate and uh, they will tell you what you need to do, right? And you also might need um, two people over the age of 18 to accompany you to the office and like to make sure that you are who you say you are. But yeah, you don't want to have to get, um, you know, temporary residency, any of that stuff, because if you were, if you were born outside, and if one of your parents or both of them were Mexican, then you're, you've been a Mexican citizen the whole time. So you don't have to deal with any of this stuff. So hopefully that, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you later.